Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can get this really sick displacement mosh effect. I call it displacement mosh because it really reminds me of data moshing. But yeah, without wasting too much time, let's just get into it. We're going to duplicate this clip in the timeline and I'm going to hide the bottom layer. And we're just going to select a displacement map. So we're going to add this effect to our clip. And then at the start of the timeline, we're going to select these and hit zero. And we're just going to make sure that we have these keyframed. Hitting you on my keyboard, I'm going to go about five frames forward. And I'm just going to sort of drag these until I get an effect that I think is really cool. Now we can always go back and change these, so don't worry about it too much right now. And yeah, I think that's fun. So I'm actually going to go over here and just paste these effects. And then I'm going to go grab our original keyframes and place them about five frames after that. And we'll just slide them around to whatever makes sense. Now this looks really cool as we scrub through it, but you can see that there's some of this negative space in the background. So really quick, I'm just going to go over here and hit Optic Compensation. And we're going to make sure we have Reverse Lens Distortion selected. And then for Field of View, at the beginning, we're going to have it be at zero. But then if we hit U on our keyboard again, as it gets to that point where there's a negative space, we're going to drag this up so that it sort of avoids that. Now I think that this is really fun and it's just a little extra sort of warp that is going on inside of your image. But yeah, we're just going to copy these keyframes in a very similar way that we did the first. And then just like that, we have this really fun effect. Now, I think that the warp helps out a ton. Sometimes you'll notice though, if you're really scrubbing through slow, there will still be moments where there's negative space. Now you can always just crank up this optic compensation field of view a ton. But one thing that I think is really helpful, especially since this is a destructive effect, is honestly just turning on this background layer that's normal and having that sort of fill in some of the gaps. 